Hello, everyone. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Danny. I'm that witch next door. I'm going to be your host, your guide, your mentor, and instructor in all things magic, witchcraft, astrology, and witchy business. And today, in honor of the beautiful Cancer New Moon, I have a special episode today. I am going to be doing a video tarot reading on YouTube for today's episode. So if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you head over there subscribe, like this video um, so that you can see the beautiful reading for today because I picked a special new deck that I've never used in the neighborhood before. So without further ado, let's crack this out. So this episode is being released on the day of the Cancer New Moon. Like I said, that is Tuesday, June 28th. And the exact time of the new moon is 8.52 p.m. Mountain Time where I am. And that's going to be at seven degrees of cancer for this dark moon, okay? And because we are in this watery, crabby, beautiful, spiritual sign of cancer, today I have my... Here, let me show everybody who's watching on YouTube my Tarot of the Mermaids deck. And I think that this was the second deck that I ever got. I'm pretty sure it was the second one. I've had it for a really, really long time and it's gorgeous. The colors are obviously this undertone of cool blues since we're in the ocean, but we do have a lot of cards with these fiery pinks and oranges and reds and yellows to bring in some contrast and also bring in a lot of warmth and kind of bring in that fire element, right? And that air element into these earthier and cooler and water tones of this deck, which look at that. There's the justice card. I hope you, so this is definitely an episode that if you can, I would love it if you'd be able to go watch over on YouTube. Otherwise I'll definitely be walking you through the cards, of course. Now, before we get started shuffling the cards, I would love it if wherever you are, whether you're sitting, whether you're standing, just make sure that your weight feels as evenly distributed, grounded, and centered as possible for whatever position that you're in right now. If you're able to and you feel called to close your eyes during this time, I absolutely welcome you to do so. But I'd love for us to take a moment to really ground and cleanse our energy and open ourselves up to the best reading that is meant for all of us today, okay? Inhale, Go ahead and exhale. And I want you to inhale one more time and just really imagine a pure and brilliantly bright light filling you up from the inside all the way to the outside. And when you exhale, let go of anything that's not serving you or anything that you just want to release and let go for a little while. Ready? Inhale that beautiful bright light, (sighs) exhale and let go of, even if it's just temporary, even if it's just for our time together today, let go of anything that you need to just let go for a little while. So as I'm shuffling these cards, I just want to say that, you know, I make it a point not to talk about a lot of political specifics Um, on my show, as maybe you have or haven't noticed, I'm not sure. And the reason behind this is because in the last few years, particularly in the last year, I've had to really get realistic with myself about my capacities that I have, because I hold a lot, a lot of space for the people in my life, for my clients and my audience and all of my community members. And I'm learning to really hold just as strong and safe of space for myself. So I process through our world events the way that best fits me and my life at my time um, that I'm at right now. 
And I just want to give you words of encouragement to do the same. And I just want to give you permission to do the same, to be processing through our current events, the really incredibly heavy news that we get so, so, so often these days. Kind of feels like it won't slow down, doesn't it? Um, I want to offer you a reminder uh, to, to give yourself the permission to process through the thoughts and the feelings that come through and just the response that your mind and your body goes through when we learn about the ever-fluctuating state of our world and of our societies. So I want you to know that I'm here with you and I am experiencing the incredibly heavy weight of the world on my shoulders right along here with you. And you might not see me post a lot about it or talk a lot about it on the show, especially in a specific way, but I want you to know that that's because I hold a lot of space for a lot of people, including myself. And with that means that I don't have the extra capacity and space to open myself up and open up this processing on my social media platforms. That just doesn't work for me personally. Okay. Um, So I just wanted to take an opportunity. Now, The cards that came out for us today are really, really beautiful, Uh, not just aesthetically because of this gorgeous uh, Tarot of the Mermaids deck, which by the way, I forgot to mention, this deck is from Lo Scarabale, and it looks like the creator is Pietro Allegro, always, as always, I apologize if I'm totally mispronouncing here, artwork by Mauro De Luca, Okay really gorgeous deck if you want to take a look. Um, The information to get yours will be in the show notes below or in the description below. So really just maybe even taking one more nice, big, deep cleansing breath and releasing even a teensy little bit of heaviness that we've all been carrying right now. I would love to offer you first and foremost this gorgeous Ace of Pentacles, and immediately after, the Eight of Pentacles. Now, I shuffled for quite some time while I was talking to you. These popped out right at the beginning, and then nobody else seemed to want to come out to play. So I guess we're doing this really concise and really, really powerful reading today, because as soon as I see these two cards next to one another, uh, what a beautiful uh, kind of short hitting, but really strong landing message do we have here. Ace of Pentacles. And if you're looking at the card on video on YouTube, we have a mermaid figure at the very front of the card and we can, she's really, really close up. So we can mostly see her torso and her breasts and her gorgeous flowing hair behind her. And she's holding a, it's actually a bubble, but they look like crystal balls almost to me. And these are the, in place of the pentacles in the suit of pentacles here in this deck are these bubbles. And in the eight of pentacles, We have a mermaid figure, but uh, further back, pulled back in the background here of the image, and there are bubbles that she has crafted and made with her hands, and you can see all of the fruits of her labor because they're stacked up there in a nice tall line. So the Ace of Pentacles is this opportunity for physical enrichment. And I really want you to give a nice big broad umbrella to what physical enrichment might mean. Because I think when we see, and this is what I love about using different styles of decks still based on my, you know, my go-to Rider Waite Smith deck is when you get so used to seeing the traditional Ace of Pentacles card 
it's easy to just automatically think financial opportunity. This is money. And sure, sure, that very much could be here. But what I love about different decks is it really helps us to open our minds a little bit and open our perception a little bit and take in a little bit more of our environment, especially when we're talking about an earth suit, like pentacles, okay? So this is an opportunity for physical enrichment. And what a beautiful card to be given. I know that a lot of us are feeling controlled by things that are much bigger than us. And I really, really feel like as soon as I got this card, this was a message of start small, start with your immediate environment, start with what's around you. And what can you take full responsibility of and for? Because through this, is really, really beautiful opportunity. The aces are always a card of a gift. Someone is handing us a gift. In the eight of pentacles, there's always themes of hard work and the rewards for that. This is a card of physical success. To get the eight of pentacles right after the ace of pentacles, I think that this is a really, really gorgeous omen and sign, quite honestly, for the potential success of this seed, this gift that's being handed to us. It comes with work. This is a physical success, which means physical effort and energy will need to be exerted to physically, first of all, reach out and accept this gift, aka this responsibility I'm talking about. What can you start with in the here and now, in your day-to-day -day life, to live with the independence that we so strongly strive for. How can you take that just a really, really small step further the next day or maybe it's the next week or maybe it's the next month? And slowly after those days, after those weeks, after those months, you'll be able to look back all of a sudden and see this trail you left behind. It's called progress growth. You've really gotten somewhere all of a sudden. This is really truly going to be our biggest strengths is in what can we tangibly do and take on. And once we maintain that, what can we add on a little bit more? And this Ace of Pentacles to Eight of Pentacles is an analogy as well of it might look like a drop in the bucket to you. You might feel like a drop in the bucket of so many. But it takes every single one of those drops to fill up the whole bucket. They matter. They all really do add up. And it's not just our individual actions. It's also each of us as individuals that come together to fill up this entire bucket. This is a message of strength. Honestly, a message of hope and a message of success that clearly came through. And like I said, I shuffled for a minute after that and nobody else seemed to want to come out. So this very, very profound and punctuated journey came out. And the punctuation is honestly kind of an ellipsis. This is, hey, 
here's the opportunity, here's the gift that you do have. What can you take responsibility for in your immediate environment? That even even in a tiny, tiny way, actively grows you toward your most core fundamental values and beliefs and your deepest, strongest goals. And as you maintain that, add a tiny bit on. And then you'll start maintaining that and get a little bit further and add a little bit more. Maybe you need to do some research. Maybe there's a little work that needs to be done at home, whether that's a physical home or inside. Maybe that's a little work in the community around you, whether that's a small community or community at large, okay? Examine what this means for you. But this is a message of it is going to be the small and most effective and tangible efforts that seem like a few that build up to many that ultimately grant us our greatest success, tangible success. I love you. I really do. And I appreciate your time here with me today and every day. And I am so incredibly grateful to be one of your guides and one of your friends here on this beautiful yet crazy journey that we're all on. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. And with every single one of you, I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Stay safe. Don't forget to have a little bit of fun. Stay magical out there. Hey, magical human. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of That Witch Podcast. If you want to support the show, the best way to do that is to share with a friend or give a shout out on your social media. You can also leave a five-star rating and review on both Apple and Spotify. And if you can't get enough of all of our witchy, magical content here in the neighborhood, you definitely want to make sure you're subscribed to my email newsletter, That Witch Gazette. It's a really fun, really convenient, one-stop shop to stay up to date on all of the news and happenings here in our neighborhood. If you have any questions, suggestions, ideas for the show, or if you'd like to sponsor an episode, you can send me a message at thatwitchnextdoor.com slash conjurethatwitch. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all next time.